جديدة من درس على الهواء ومادة اللغة الإنجليزية للصف الحادي عشر المادة الأساسية نرحب بكم أعزائنا الطلاب في درس جديد من دروس اللغة الإنجليزية Now we will shift to English language Dear students, I would like to welcome you all to this session for grade 11 core education and I would like you to get uh, your course book and workbook ready right? So uh, the theme for today's session will be about those teenage things. I'd like you to open your course book at page 22 and 23. So the title of unit three will be about teenage friendship, all right? So, so we'll cover both uh, page, course book page 22 to 23 and workbook page 20 to 21, all right? So are you ready, students? All right, let's get started then. So before we start, I would like to mention the objectives of our session for today. So the students will be better able, by the end of this session, will be better able to use the language associated with friendship, right? And uh, uh, second objective, students will be better able also to uh, predict vocabulary and content of a listening text. So we'll be able to uh, use uh, listening uh, audio today. And so this is English language, so we can use maybe different skills like reading. Uh, sometimes we can just listen. And sometimes we can speak, discuss some, some, something, all right? So the ob objective number three will be practicing using adjectives to describe person's qualities. How can you use different adjectives to describe uh, different uh, uh, persons? Uh, describing a person by using different qualities, all right? So let's get started. So before we start, so uh, I would like to give you this introduction, like different questions about friendship. All right, so question number one, students. How can you describe your friendship? Is it good? Uh, you have good friendship or bad? So you can just mention my friendship is, and you can just give some uh, uh, adjectives for this, for example. You can describe it, all right? Uh, question number two, what makes good friends? So you, here you can mention uh, something about describing your friends, whether they are, for example, trustworthy, honest, for example, uh, or some uh, uh, bad adjectives, for example, you can describe uh, friends. So uh, today's session will be describing about different attributes, di different uh, qualities of uh, friends. Uh, either uh, positive attributes or uh, positive uh, uh, adjectives or uh, negative ones, all right? So let's move to question number three. So uh, uh, it's supposed to be to, uh, discussed in uh, groups, but as uh, because we are in the current uh, situation of the COVID-19, we don't have a group, so we can just discuss it uh, online with you. So number three, uh, why are friends particularly important? to teenagers, all right? Are they, uh, is, it, is it important? Is it important to make, your, uh, to make some kind of friendship and uh, make some friends? Uh, what kind of friends do you have, for example? All, uh, uh, for example, uh, you can say I have some old friends or close friends. We have different kind of uh, friendship, for example. Old friends, old friends, or you can say we have uh, close friends. I have a close friend, for example. Or you can say, for example, lifelong. We call it lifelong. Uh, a lifelong friend, uh, a friend that stay with the rest of their life, for example. Lifelong friends. Those are uh, really discussion about uh, starting our session uh, today. Okay, question number four. Have, you, uh, have your friends changed since you become teenagers? Is there any change? For example, for example, uh, your, your uh, friend uh, w when he was, for, uh, let's say, 12 years or 11 years old, uh, and when he became a teenager, for example, did he change or not? If he, change, if he changed uh, when he became a teenager, why? You can mention some reason, why? So this is a WH question then you can mention some reasons. Why did he or she change? Reasons. Okay, you can just mention some reason because maybe sometimes uh, uh, you, you can say he changed or uh, she changed because 
uh, we don't have any uh, common interest together. We don't have anything in common, for example, or, or she has different uh, interests, for example. All right. So those questions are to be discussed in groups, but you can just discuss and answer all these questions. Okay. So let's move to your uh, course book right now. Okay. So theme uh, two will be, will be talking about teenage friendships. I would like you to open your course book at page 22 here. All right? So we'll read the question together. Friendships are extremely important to teenagers. Teens often think that other friends are only people in the world who can understand them. So they think that the, the only guys, the only people uh, they can understand only teenagers. They can, understanding, uh, they can understand each other. All right, in groups, they mention also here in groups, but we don't uh, have a group because of the current uh, circumstances of COVID-19. So we can just discuss it uh, online with you. We, all right, so discuss these common teenage questions about friendship. We have different questions from one to five. We'll discuss them uh, together. Do you have a question of your own? that would like to discuss. You can add your own question. For example, those are five questions, and you can add your own question. For example, this is uh, question number six. It's all about you and your uh, teenage uh, friendship. OK, so question number one. Let's get started to question number one. I like my friends, but I don't always like what they do. See, he or she likes her friends, but she or he doesn't like what they do. So he's asking you to give him a piece of advice. W what can you give him? What can you advise him to do? What shall I do? He said here, what shall I do? He likes or she likes her friend, but he doesn't or she doesn't like what he or she is doing. All right? Uh, so what kind of advice? You can think of an advice, for example, here. A piece of advice number one and piece of advice uh, number two. I like my friends, but I don't always like what they do. So you can just advise your friends to do uh, something good or something you have something in common, for example, common interest, all right? Question number two. Why do all my friendships seem to be changing? So nothing, uh, uh, remain, nothing remains the same. Nothing stable, for example, here. Everything will change. But he is asking why. This is a WH question, why? So in a, in a WH question like this, why, you have to mention the reason. You can start with the word because, or in order to, or to, or for. So what are the reasons? Here you can mention the reasons. Why? You can uh, think of some reasons. Reason one or two. OK, why do all my friendships seem to be changing? because everybody has his own, uh, for example, life, or maybe some uh, friends might uh, look for other friends. Uh, maybe she or he is not interested in what you are interested in, maybe, all right? Number three, I still like my old friends, but they aren't interested in the same things as me uh, anymore. What can I do? So see, he, he, uh, he's, men uh, he's mentioning here something interested in. So be, you, you have to be careful. This is like a phrase of verb here. We can sh uh, say, for example, uh, Ahmed is, you can just mention this one, Ahmed, Ahmed is interested, dash, in sport, for example. So in, he might, for example, give you in, in grammar on the final exam. For example, what is, uh, how can you just uh, uh, shade in the purple here? What is the correct answer here? For example, uh, he will give you, for example, on or in. So this is uh, uh, very important. Maybe one of the common uh, questions will be asked in the final exam as a grammatical uh, structure. Ahmed is interested. What is the correct answer here? In. So you will shade in the purple. See, interested in. Muhtam B. So. Uh, I still like my friends, my old friends. He likes the old friends he got in the past, but they aren't interested in the same thing as me anymore. So they, he must look for some friends here uh, who are really interested in the same thing, in the same thing. So somebody who, 
for example, Fatma is interested in cooking or shopping, she must look for some friends who are uh, interested in the same thing, shopping and cooking, for example. All right, let's go to question number four. How can I begin a new friendship with uh, someone I like? Here he, he, is, he or she is asking you a question. How can I begin? Begin here, the same question as uh, start, the same uh, verb. How can you advise this uh, friend? How can he start a new friendship with someone he likes or somebody uh, she likes? Okay, so by, uh, for example, talking about something in common between them or asking about what he is interested in or what she is interested in, those are some suggestions about this uh, question, about this answer. Number five, last one, my parents don't like my friends, my parents don't like my friends. What can I do? Here, there, are, there must be a reason why you have to ask your, your uh, self a question. Why your parents doesn't, uh, why your parents don't like, why your mom doesn't like your friends, for example, why your dad or your father, why your father doesn't like your friends. Maybe there, there has been something wrong happening uh, recently. Maybe there is something wrong with the friendship. Maybe they have some kind of bad behavior, maybe. So you have to think of the reason here. And well, then when you think about the reason, then you can just mention a solution for this particular pro problem, all right? So that's it about this discussion, students. So let's move to another one. So listening, listening uh, practice, I would like you to open your course book again, page 22, all right? Activity two again here. So this is the brief listening. Do you have any friends uh, from different culture? For example, European culture or any other uh, culture like Egyptian culture maybe? If yes, which country? So you have to mention if you have some friends from other culture or from other countries, for example, you can mention, for example, I got, uh, I have some friends from the UK, for example, here, yeah. or the British culture, or I have some friends from Egypt, or you can just say I have some uh, friends from Jordan, those are just an example of some countries, all right? Uh, question number three, those are the brief listening. Before we listen, I'd like you to just discuss all these questions so that you will be familiar when you listen to uh, the listening script. All right, so question number two, what are the advantages? What is the meaning of advantage? Advantage, advantage means positive, positive things. So this is another s synonym or another uh, similar meaning, positive things about something. The positive things uh, about something. What are the advantages? So what is the uh, antonym here? Antonym of uh, advantage? You can just add this and the same word again. This advantage. Learning some vocabularies and how to improve your vocabularies is very important. And you have to spell the words correctly, especially when you have a writing exam or you have to write a paragraph, for example, all right? So what are the advantages of having friends from different countries? Is there any advantage if you said yes, for example? I have some uh, friends from other countries. What are the advantages? One of, one of the advantages, for example, one of the most advantages so that you can be familiar with other uh, cultures, for example. You can cope with a uh, new culture or I can learn from my friends about his own traditions, about, for example, about uh, the way they cook or their traditional uh, food or traditional like of songs and so on, all right? So you have to mention here some examples. If you have uh, some reasons and examples of the country, of course, you have to mention the reasons, all right? I have some friends, for example, from uh, Egypt or from the United Kingdom. And uh, the advantages are, uh, are the following, one, two, three, or the, one of the uh, most important advantage is that I can learn about uh, this country and I learn more about the culture. So this is about the pre-listening. I would like you now to go to the second uh, uh, page here. Listening practice, class book, page 22. Get your uh, notebook ready, ready and get your pencil as well ready, all right? So you have to write some notes, try to jot down some notes by using your own uh, pencil. Okay, this is activity number two in your course book. Listen to an interview with Emily. 
uh, a 17 year old students at, at an international school in Muscat. This is Emily. Okay, before you listen, read through all the five questions below. As you listen, make notes. See, this is very important. Try to make notes. Whenever you have a listening exam, try to make some notes. Very important. It might help you to answer the questions correctly. Okay? In your exercise book, uh, to, the, uh, to answer the question. If you don't have the exercise book, notebook will be fine, or you can just write some notes uh, next to each question. Discuss your answer with the group. All right? Quest uh, this is question A. How important are Emily's friends too? So you have to underline the key words her, here, important. He, she will mention something about her uh, friends. Is it important or not? Is it very important or not that uh, important? Okay, so you have to be careful and uh, answer this question when you listen. So this is the key word. B, what qualities are important to her in a friend? What qualities? So you have to think about qualities, features, we said, features. She, she like, for example, good friends or uh, honest friends or what exactly? So uh, you have to think about uh, the qualities of the friends she likes, all right? Question uh, D, does she have friends from other countries? See, hey, this is a question you have to answer by yes or no. If the answer is yes, you have to mention the country or countries. What are the countries, okay? Question D, what are the benefits what are the benefits of having friends from other countries? So you have to mention something related to benefits. Okay? Is it beneficial? So if, it, if there are some benefits, you can write the benefits down later. Okay, question A, has she had difficulties because of having friends from other cultures? Has she had difficulties? She, did, he, did she, for example, face any problems? Has she faced some problems because of having friends from, uh, having friends from other cultures? Okay, uh, this answer must be answered by yes or no. Okay, are you ready, students? Are you ready? So you will listen and try to write your own answer. Okay, so let's get started to this listening task. Okay, are you listening, students? Is it clear? Can you listen? This listening clip. I think we got some uh, problem here with the, with the file. You think it, it works? Yeah. Is it clear? Hello, can everybody? Yeah, listening, listening, not working. Listening script, not working. Listening. Can't hear the voice of the listening. Uh, yeah.
Is it clear, the sounds? Yeah, not working. Not working, yeah. I will check one more time. All right, so let's check one more time. The sound system. Hello, director, can you listen? Can you hear me? The file is not working. Yeah. So it has been displayed here. And it shows the time. But I can't hear. Can't hear. Okay, students, we will listen one more time uh, uh, for this listening task. Okay, can you check the sound? Musician. Hello, director. Can you? Listening. Yes. Can you? Can 2 you yes. Let me. All right, thank you very much. So, students, how uh, important let's start again. are your friends Sorry for to this. you, Emily? And let's start again. Very important. Listening, 2.3.1. How important are your friends to you, Emily? Very important. My friends are the first people I ask about everything. Homework, social life, music, movies, books, many other things. I don't think that anyone can make it through their teen years without a good circle of friends. What qualities are important to you in a friend? I think it's really important for friends to have similar no. interests and personalities. In addition, being loyal, dependable and honest are extremely important. Do you have friends from other countries? If so, which countries? I go to an international school, so I have friends from all over the world. My closest friends here in Oman are from Lebanon, Afghanistan and the UK. What are the benefits of having friends from other cultures? Well, it allows me to learn about other cultures and customs in a fun and informal way. And when I go to my friends' houses, it's great fun trying all the food from their different countries. Have you experienced any difficulties in having friends from other cultures? Never. There are sometimes differences in how strict our parents are, but this isn't a difficulty. It's just something we have to deal with. Okay, students. Uh, all right. So how was the question? Do you want me to repeat it one more time so that you can listen carefully? All right. So you got uh, five different questions with different uh, requirements. For example, here, how important, and here, what, and here you have to, what. So you have to differentiate between the WH question we got in the final exam, for example, or the, in some short test, you will have some uh, kind of WH questions. What we mean by WH questions? Sorry for this. WH questions. Okay, WH questions. Questions that start with W. Questions that, that start with W. For example, where? When you ask about the place. Uh, another question here, uh, when? We ask about time. Uh, another question, like when you ask about the reason, why? Another question, like for example, who? When you ask about a person, when you ask about a person who uh, was with you, for example, when you traveled uh, abroad, all right? Uh, we got uh, other question like which? Which is uh, your car, this one or that one? Which is your favorite uh, color, orange or uh, green? Okay, so that's, uh, those are some uh, WH questions you have to bear in mind, especially in listening and maybe uh, in the reading. They will come in the reading. So those, those are uh, the WH question. And another one we got, for example, for how. We can explain this one later on. How? You can uh, say about the price, for example, how much? Or you ask about uh, countable things like uh, how many? How many brothers have you got? How many brothers do you have? 
Okay. So uh, this one, uh, maybe you ask about the distance. How far is it uh, from Muscat to Salala? Uh, you can ask another question. How long? How long did you stay uh, uh, in Oman? How long did, did you stay, for example? And another question is how old? How old are you? Those are very important. I have to mention this because you, you might face them in reading or in listening. Okay. Another question you can uh, uh, add here: How big, or how, or how tall? Okay. So now let's listen again and uh, be careful. Try to write, write notes and uh, uh, put your answer. We will discuss them uh, together later. All right? Listening. Two point three point one. How important are your friends to you, Emily? Very important. My friends are the first people I ask about everything. Homework, social life, music, movies, books, many other things. I don't think that anyone can make it through their teen years without a good circle of friends. What qualities are important to you in a friend? I think it's really important for friends to have similar interests and personalities. In addition, being loyal, dependable and honest are extremely important. Do you have friends from other countries? If so, which countries? I go to an international school, so I have friends from all over the world. My closest friends here in Oman are from Lebanon, Afghanistan and the UK. What are the benefits of having friends from other cultures? Well, it allows me to learn about other cultures and customs in a fun and informal way. And when I go to my friends' houses, it's great fun trying all the food from their different countries. Have you experienced any difficulties in having friends from other cultures? Never. There are sometimes differences in how strict our parents are, but this isn't a difficulty. It's just something we have to deal with. So now students, uh, we'll answer question number one. How important are Emily's friends? What was your answer? Very important. She mentioned this one in her uh, conversation. What qualities are important to her uh, in uh, a friend? She mentioned uh, so many uh, qualities or features of friend, like for example, she is being uh, loyal. Uh, see, does sh uh, she have friends from other countries? What was it, her answer? Yes, she, she has got some friends from other uh, countries, like she mentioned uh, some friends from uh, Lebanon, uh, Afghanistan, and uh, the UK. All right. Uh, what are the benefits of having friends from other countries? She mentioned so many uh, friends here. You can just mention all the, uh, the benefits, okay? Has she had difficulties because of having friends from other cu cultures? No, she hasn't got, okay? Let's move to another uh, task. Thank you very much. So here in groups, I would like you uh, uh, to uh, open your course book page 23, page activity three. Okay, in group, discuss the letter below uh, to a problem page from a 16-year-old. This is a boy, and he is 16 years old. Okay, think of some possible reasons. Here we'll dis discuss the reasons, uh, and we'll give him uh, some solution, okay? Uh, dear counselor, I am writing to you about a very worrying problem. He has got some uh, worries about a particular uh, problem. I can't seem to maintain friendship. It means that his friendship will not last for a long time. He, he, he could make some kind of friendship, but the friendship will not uh, last for a long time, maybe one month or uh, one week, and it will just end, okay? When I become friendly with another boy, it's okay at first, but then after time, the other boy loses interest in me, loses interest. He, that boy, for example, he, he will not uh, be interested in the same thing like he is, all right? and doesn't talk to me. See, this is a problem. He doesn't talk to me anymore. So many problems he, he got here, okay? Every, everyone in my class has a good a circle of friends, a good circle of friends. It means a good group of friends. A good circle of friends, a circle of friends means a good uh, group of friends, but not me. She, he hasn't got uh, a, a good circle of friends. I feel so lonely, this is an adjective, he feels so lonely because he hasn't got any friend because when I have a problem, I don't have anyone to share. Maybe he faces some problems and he would like to talk to somebody, but he hasn't got uh, that uh, friend. 
what can I do? Here you, uh, you can uh, just give him some kind of solutions. Have you ever met anyone with uh, this kind of a problem in your life? Maybe you got some of your friends like the same. Someone who is lonely or somebody who, uh, who couldn't maintain some kind of friendship for a long time. If yes, how can you help him or her? How can you help your friend? How can you help him or how can you help her? All right. So you have to mention uh, the solutions and you can give some pieces of advice. All right. See this one. Uh, what advice would you give him uh, choose a person of your group you present you of course you don't have a group here and give the advice okay use the language you should you start with one number one this one and this is number two three this is a, a good way to start giving uh, a basis of advice okay you should for example hey, the problem you can mention that uh, uh, for example he couldn't maintain uh, maintain friendship the first problem loses couldn't maintain here for example you can say he couldn't he couldn't maintain friendship okay so what 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 are the reasons you can mention if you go back uh, some boys for example the other boy loses interest in him for example or uh, he, for example, doesn't talk to him. What are the reasons? Okay, those are the reasons. People, uh, for example, friends, friends loses or lose interest in him. Okay? And he feels lonely. What are the solutions? This is the, uh, the best part here. Here is the problem, and here are uh, the reason he feels lonely and so nobody can uh, talk to him. What are the uh, solutions? The solution, you can just mention one of these four. Like you can give them uh, two solutions. You start, uh, our advice is that you have to talk to somebody who has more uh, interest like you do. For example, you have some common interest. Uh, you are interested, for example, in playing football. You have to look for uh, a friend or uh, somebody who is interested in playing football too, okay? Uh, if you are interested in shopping, you can uh, search or look for a person who is uh, interested in shopping and so on. Another way here, number four, we think that the best thing for you to do is, you can mention uh, the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the uh, sentence here, okay? You can give uh, as many pieces of advice as possible to this a uh, friend who has got so many, so many uh, problems, okay? This one, uh, this uh, activity class book, guys, students, be careful. This one has been canceled from the Ministry uh, of Education because of the uh, current uh, circumstances of COVID-19. This one has been canceled, okay? This is a poem you can just read uh, for pleasure, okay? This one has been canceled. Let's move to another one. This one. So let's check the dictionary here. Smart. What is the, uh, the meaning of smart? This is the first one. I would like you to take uh, some notes and pay attention. Smart. Uh, some people will think that smart is the uh, uh, synonym of clever. Yes. But here in this text, smart means somebody who is what? You look smart. Are you going somewhere? Smart. See? He's Anik or Hassan al Hendam. Is it clear? This one. For example, somebody who is smart, who is dressed in a very beautiful way. Fatma uh, looks smart today because she dressed beautifully, okay? So this is a, a, a good uh, meaning, a good uh, explanation for this uh, word, okay? So I'd like you to take notes. I would, uh, maybe I will ask you some question by the end of the uh, session. Okay, let's move to another one, sensitive. This word, sensitive, this is an adjective, okay? This is somebody who is sensitive, See, this is uh, meaning number one. We don't want this one. Now, we'll focus, and, uh, and even number two, we'll focus on meaning number three. See, murai li shu'ur al akharin sensitive. Ahmed is sensitive, showing that you are aware and understand people's feelings and problems. When somebody talks to you about problems, showing that you are uh, taking care of that problem and you would like to talk more about it and uh, understanding other uh, people uh, feelings okay 
So to be sensitive to somebody's feelings or wishes. So this is very important. Those are the different meanings. You can just take notes. But the meaning we want here is uh, number three. Okay, Fatima is sensitive. It means that Fatima what showing that she is aware of and understanding people's feelings and problems. Okay, this is very important. Let's move to another one. Thoughtful. What's the meaning of the word thoughtful? It comes from the think. This is think. The past tense of think is thought. Okay, so whenever you add F, U, L to any word, it will be an adjective. Like, can you give me any word? For example, here, F, U, L. Any word that ends with this uh, suffix, this is called suffix, F, U, L, it will be an adjective. Any word in English, like, for example, here, we, uh, for instance, we can give you another word, like, beautiful. This is good for just... Uh, revising vocabulary and how to just uh, memorize the words. Okay, beautiful. This is an adjective too. Okay, thoughtful means, for example, here amik tafkir or husn al-ihtimam, thinking about the other people's want or need. Ahmed is very thoughtful. He thinks about what people want or what they need. Okay, this is very important. Brumby, this one, Brumby means bad tempered. See, can you look at this picture of this boy? Say Taba, very, very bad tempered or let's say angry. Grumpy. This, those are all adjectives. John is very grumpy. Say Taba or naked. Bad tempered. That it means that he for example he get uh, gets angry easily. Okay? Let's move to another one. Selfish. I think you have uh, come across this word or this adjective before. Thinking only about your own needs or wishes. Thinking about yourself, not thinking of others. And about people's needs or wishes. See, this little girl is playing with her toys and she will not let her brother, this poor uh, brother actually, he will not play with her because she keeps all her toys aside. She said, you will never ever play with my toys. Those are mine, okay? So the girl is, we can describe her as selfish. Okay, uh, another adjective, cheerful. Those are adjectives from the book, by the way, from your uh, workbook. Uh, cheerful means happy. This one, happy. You can give another an antonym, antonym, mudat, opposite, like sad, for example, here. So this is very good. This is the meaning in Arabic. Look at this girl, she is very cheerful. Very cheerful. Uh, means happy. Tom. Remind, uh, re uh, Tom remained cheerful throughout his illness. A cheerful smile. A cheerful smile. Okay, let's move on. Loyal. A friend who is loyal. You can describe your friends, by the way, by all using all these adjectives. A friend who is loyal. Not changing in your friendship or beliefs. Faithful. Can I give another synonym for this? Faithful. It means, wafi, or mukhlas. All right. A loyal friend. See, he mentioned something here about friend. Dishonest. This is very important. Dishonest. This is an adjective also. Not honest. So whenever you have this prefix, like I will give you another, another example. Appear. Appear. This is appear. It's a, a verb. If you add, this is appear, for example, here. If you add this, it will give you the opposite. So this prefix will give you the opposite of the word. Like agree, you can mention the prefix here, this. So it will be give you the opposite. Appear, disappear. Agree, disagree. Okay? And here, honest, the honest. Uh, by the way, H is silent here. Don't say honest. This is wrong. So you have to say honest, starting from the letter O here. So H is silent letter, honest. Okay, those are all adjective here, by the way. This is an adjective. If you want to bring or to mention the opposite or the antonym, the antonym, you can write this. So this, whenever you have this prefix, we call it in English, if you want this as a general uh, information, we call it prefix. 
prefix we call it in English. Uh, something uh, that comes before prefix, something that comes before the word, for example, here, uh, this. See, this dishonest means kadab, ashash, or ayramin. Dishonest, the opposite of honest. The opposite of honest. Okay, clear, guys? Let's go to another one, silly. Appearing ridiculous. Appearing ridiculous, not showing thought or understanding foolish. Or appearing ridiculous, those are all adjectives. See those little girls, they uh, do like uh, silly things. Uh, moody, another adjective, moody, that having moods or changing your mood. Ahmed is moody or uh, Salma is moody. She changes her mood from time to time. Now she is happy, after a while she will be uh, sad, for example. All right, bad tempered or unhappy, okay? Bad tempered or unhappy. Those are uh, really important in this uh, session. So now we will just uh, read this uh, together. Read the list of adjectives describing describing a person quality in, a pe in pairs or groups. So we will just go uh, quickly to the positive and negative attribute. Those are positive attributes means here uh, qualities or features. Attributes means uh, qualities or features of friends. Okay, those are the negative one. We got here how many? You can just number them so that we can go all through all of them. Okay, number one, dependable. Dependable, somebody you can depend on. Okay, dependable. Ahmed is dependable. I can trust him to do something. All right, dependable. So is it positive or negative? This is positive, very good. So you can write here, dependable. Okay, lazy. Salma is lazy. She couldn't do uh, any work recently. Okay, she is lazy. Couldn't do the work or can't do the work. Lazy, it will be what? Negative. So this one is positive. We can write it. This one is uh, dependable is positive. Uh, lazy is negative. Smart. Smart, which has a good outfit or uh, he dressed well, dressed beautifully. Smart. It means also, uh, as we mentioned, clever. Okay, so smart. This is a positive one. You can just write them. Okay, uh, this is an example, lazy. Uh, hard working. S uh, for, for example here, Aisha is a very hard working student. She studies all the time because she would like to get high marks in her exams. Okay, hard working means that you work all the time. You are very active. Okay, so it will be what? This is a positive. So whenever you have plus, this is for the positive and this is for the negative. Easy going. It means that he is calm or relaxed, okay? Relaxed, easy going. It will be a positive one. Impatient, be careful about this adjective. We'll give you more uh, information about it. Patient, this is patient. This is the adjective. He, add, he added here something, impatient. Whenever you have M, it will give you the opposite. The opposite meaning or the antonym. So patient. Impatient, this is the opposite, likes. Like possible, impossible, okay? So when you, uh, this is a very important prefix. We call it prefix. Prefix, it comes before the word. It gives you the opposite or the antonym. Like possible, impossible. Okay, so impatient means the opposite of patient. So it will be what? Negative. So this one is also negative. Moody, somebody who is moody, who is changing his mood, okay? or bad tempered, for example. Here, it will be negative also. Sensitive, Fatma is so sensitive, she would like to ask more about her fr uh, friends and uh, wh whether they have got any problems and she cares about it. So it will be like a positive uh, attribute, okay? Thoughtful, thinking about others problem also. Uh, cowardly, somebody who is uh, cowardly, for example, here, uh, he couldn't do the work. He is afraid of something. Okay, so this is negative. Afraid. Grumpy. We mentioned this one is also negative. Selfish. He's selfish. He'd like to do all things by himself. This is a negative. Cheerful means happy. Cheerful. This is positive also. Silly. Somebody who is silly. This is a negative one. Dishonest. The opposite of honest. Of course, the opposite of honest. So this one is, dishonest is 
uh, sorry for this. This one is a negative one. This one is negative. Loyal, somebody who is loyal, he, he can just uh, be with you all the time. This is a positive one. So those are, you can just copy them into the uh, table here by positive attributes and negative attributes. And you can just use them to describe your friendship, your, your friends, dependable, or they are smart, whether they are hardworking or not, or they, well, whether they are, for example, selfish. You can just use all these are what? All of them are adjectives. Very important, those are adjectives. We can just short it like this. Okay, thank you. Let's go to another one. So this one also has been canceled about friends, has been canceled. Let's go to another task. This one, the listening practice, uh, open your workbook at page 21. Quickly, please, activity three. Listen for, to four teenagers talking about their best friend as you listen. Fill in the information in each chart. So those are A, B, C, and D. Different friends, different guys, boys and girls. They will talk about their friendship. So this is the question here. Can you identify what kind of information you should listen for? When, whenever you have a listening task, you have to read the question before. You have to read the question before you listen, okay? So that you can understand when you listen. And you have to keyword, uh, underline the keyword name uh, of uh, his uh, best friend. See, he's looking for the name. You can write Salem or Abdullah here in this dashes. He's looking for names. How long he or she has known his uh, or her best friend? How long? He's asking about uh, period, period or duration. Like how many years? Number three, why his or her best friend is important? Mention the reason. You have to mention here the reason. Then give one per reason and one attribute or quality. Give one reason. So you have to mention here the reason. We will just write R for reason. And then you can mention what? Uh, the quality or attribute, what kind of quality? What is the quality is she is looking for? Okay, are you ready? So let's listen uh, and uh, try to uh, note down and try to put your answer. We will discuss them together later, all right? Are you ready? All right, let's get started. Listening, 2.3.2. A. My best friend's name is Katie. I've known her since we were four. She's really important to me because I can tell her all my secrets. You know, things I'd never be able to tell my parents. And she's always so cheerful. B. I don't know what I would do without my best friend, Ali. I have known him for six years. He's important to me because we do lots of things together, like sports. He's a great guy because he's always very dependable. C. My best friend is called Claire. I've known her all my life. I think the most important thing to me is that she really listens when I talk to her about my problems. She's very thoughtful. D. Best friend? That's easy. My best friend is my mobile phone. I've had it for a year, and I just couldn't live without it. It's important to me, because it keeps me in touch with what's going on. It's good-looking, smart, and cool. All right, students. All right, so what was your, how was your answer? Did you get them all correct? All right, so let's check the answer together. So I'd like you to check the answer. The first one, her name was Katie. The second one, Ali, Claire, and the th uh, his best friend, uh, mobile phone. He mentioned that his, his uh, best friend was the mobile phone, of course, here. Yeah. Uh, number two, you can just check the answer. Here, four, six and his, uh, all her life a year. Uh, number three, we'll go all, uh, to all this uh, quickly now. Uh, can, uh, she can tell her all secrets. 
and the attribute or the quality is cheerful. Here, uh, doing lots of things together, dependable. This is the uh, positive attribute or positive quality. Then uh, here, for example, the reason she listens when she talks about her pro problems and the attribute or the quality here, the feature is thoughtful. The last one, he, he mentioned that the mobile phone is keeping him uh, in touch with what's going on and uh, uh, the attribute is good looking, smart and cool, right? So let's go uh, quickly to this. This one, actually it will be your uh, homework and we'll go immediately. This, is, this one will be your homework because we are running out of time. This one will be about your homework and you can just uh, check the answer next to the task, right? So let's go to the uh, competition right now. Are you ready? So we'll do like a competition here. Not working. So I'd like you to get uh, the, your Kahoot ready. I will give you the pin code right now. Okay, students, are you ready? So we'll just assign you a task here. It's not working. Internet, maybe. Inter yeah, internet, yeah, not working. Yeah, you can just, can you, can anybody come and check, please, the internet? Can check it one more time so that we can finish up uh, our task with a lovely competition, okay? We can just go b to the competition right now. Can anybody just uh, come and fix this technical issue, please? All right. Uh, so students, uh, uh, get ready. We will just go through this uh, competition together, all right? Somebody must uh, come and fix this technical problem here, or uh, the internet is not working. All right, so let's go to the competition. Still not working. So we have only five minutes to finish our task by giving you this uh, lovely competition in Kahoot. Uh, now, now we are just, just checking this uh, internet connectivity. All right, we'll check one more time. If it doesn't work, we can, uh, oh, we have, they have already got their homework, by the way. No, the competition must be live. Yeah, it's working, I think, yeah. Still not working. We got uh, internet disconnection. All right, so students, you will connect this one together. Uh, this one is not working, the internet is not working. I, I prepared actually a nice competition, some kind of uh, uh, quick quiz and with vocabulary, multiple choices and true false, so that you can just go through all, all, all of it together. We will see the, uh, the winner maybe by the end of this competition. Uh, I hope uh, this uh, kind of connection of the internet work uh, soon. If it doesn't work, we can just uh, assign it for next time. Still not working. All right.
Right, I think, yeah, we will wait for one minute, one more minute. Then we'll check one more time. Doesn't work. Yeah. Somebody fix the internet here because it's only a matter of four mi minutes. All right, students, we'll try one more time. If it doesn't work, we can just assign it for the next session. Our colleagues will uh, uh, maybe give you this kind of competition for next session because uh, we got some internet disconnectivity here. All right. It doesn't work, so I have to finish this uh, session and uh, saying uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, listening to us and I hope that we uh, uh, have already given you something very uh, useful. Uh, till we see you next time, I would like to say uh, thank you very much. And